Good morning Aquarius, welcome to your reading. Let's see what the universe has to tell the sign of Aquarius at this time. I hope you're all well. I had I read the comments and it, apparently there were some volume issues. Um, while I was recording them I did have a set of headphones plugged into the computer at the time. I've since removed them. So let's hope the issues will be resolved. Because I know from experiences, especially when I've been doing live readings, you know, when I plug headphones in, it does affect the volume on the microphone. Don't know why, but we'll see. Let's hope this recording is okay. Okay, universe, what do we have for the sign of Aquarius, please? Four of Swords, taking a break. Oh, somebody likes you, the Star card. The Sun card, somebody definitely likes you. I'm picking up movement and travel. Coming from the past, Emperor Energy. Mm. I feel here that somebody's waiting on some issues to be resolved and I'm picking up strong movement this summer. Got the three of wands here, which is waiting. There is a fresh start here for you, Aquarius. Nine of wands. Nine of pentacles. You know, two nines are 18. That's the moon card. There is some issues between you need to be sorted. Six of swords, ten of cups. Wow. Very positive reading, Aqua. But you are kind of... Rest in a minute. You know, you're taking a break. You're tired. You, you've been emotionally drained. Emotions are running high. Um, but there's there's somebody who is basically in love. And I'm picking up soulmate, twin flame. And they are certainly discovered a few feelings that they thought they never had. And in the you know they've been very very in, they're a very independent person they are nine of pentacles they they are this nine of pentacles this is a person who can fit in anywhere it's an emperor type figure they're very masculine energy whoever it is you're dealing with this is a very masculine energy Tara's non-gender specific so it doesn't matter if you're dealing with a lady She's very strong. And this is a person who is willing to shoulder the responsibilities of their decisions. Quite wise. Could be a little bit older than you. But I feel like you're playing by your rules anyway. It's very difficult to control an Aquarius. You can do it for so long, but sooner or later the worm turns and Aquas come into their power. But you are certainly very cautious. You're drawn back towards the past. The person who you're dealing with, they've got their eyes on the future, but their future with you. Um, they kind of want you in this boat with them. Six of Swords. This is both personal progress and physical travel I'm getting you see in the path there's a lot of communication picking up a lot of disturbance but what I'm getting is a person you sort of had difficulties with in the past there was a lot of stress you both moved on and I'm, I'm picking up like a detoxification period between you two. Everything's quiet. It'll enable both of you to kind of detox negative stuff, negative feelings. And now there's a chance for you and this person to get back together. Of course, if you want it. Let's see what this Four of Swords is all about. Yeah, there's a fresh start here, look. It'll open up a whole new gateway for you. 
it's been approaching you for a while. As I say, you've both been kind of detoxing. What's this star all about, please? Yeah, this is a soulmate connection. Somebody you walked away from in the past or they walked away from you. It kind of left some unanswered questions. It kind of left the door open. And now it looks like that's boomeranging around and it's coming back on you. But in the process, you've managed to do a lot of healing and so have they. And there's a there's a lot of understanding coming to this. You see, this is this is a soulmate you're dealing with. Two of Cups, bottom of the deck, the Sun card. What have we here? There you go. Shuffle. Two of Cups. And I'm picking up summer. A lot of movement taking place. Travel. Even relocation. If you want it. Eight of Wands. Yeah. This person in the past, there was a lot of drama. Very flighty, in and out, in and out. This person was communicating with a lot of people. And again, this is Knight of Wands. Very, very flighty, very impulsive, very adventurous. They didn't like to stay in one place too long, didn't want to commit. It was a lot of fun to be around and things were okay for a while, but... Mm. Yeah, I'm feeling the. there's a lot of patience needed between you and this person because I feel that you're dealing with the authorities here on both sides. And there's also obligations to other connections both in your life and their life. You know, I'm picking up that I don't care who you're with at the moment, who the person you're dealing with is with at the moment, there's a coming together. But it's a kind of both of you developing the courage and avoiding confrontation. It's for some of you, it's what you truly want. I mean, there is, as I say, four of wands. It's the, the doorways beginning to open up. The time is coming into focus. But for actual movement in the 3D world, I'm still picking up the summertime, the next two or three months. Certainly till the end of September. What's this three of ones here? Yeah. It will be kind of frustrating. But I can, I can see the chance of you to making a fresh start of it if you want it. Yeah, here we go. See, waiting, waiting, waiting. This person certainly wants to express their feelings to you. They may not approach you directly. They may come in via a friend or very, very cagey because they, they don't want to kind of upset the apple cart. They don't want to get off on the wrong foot. But they are getting very frustrated. I feel this person you're dealing with, although there's a lot of pentacle energy around them, they're not. This person is not revered for their patience. You know they're in a fairly comfortable position now, but it's it's not giving them emotional fulfilment. They they've certainly kept you close to their heart. They've hung on to this connection. And, you know, there is movement behind the scenes. The chariot. This is Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. Could be children involved, but there's a... There's a genuine choice here, I feel. I feel you're also ready to shoulder the responsibilities. It's like you're both coming onto the same plane here. You're both willing to express love. You're both looking at it from a practical point of view. This person just... I feel some of you are prepared to wait for this person. Yeah, finally. Yeah, things changing. 
it's the destiny and this is all about timing and you know as i repeat once more i'm picking up sometime this summer depends where you are on the karmic line but it looks pretty good for you aquarius yeah end of a cycle you know this juggling this imbalance it's it's about there's a there's a choice to be made and it's you've you two were kind of destined to meet each other again regardless you went off in your own your own ways but it's like you were always on a path to recollide not literally i don't mean in a car well hopefully not but yeah spiritually and emotionally you were on a collision course the very least there's karma to be sorted with this person because I'm picking up very strongly soulmate twin flame for a few of you it's your choice after all Aquarius thank you very much for watching bye bye for now